Hello and welcome to your daily dose of Satoshi's news. Today's date is Friday the 2nd of August 2024, the year of a million transactions per second or more. Experience the best of both worlds today at BetBitcoinSV.com, the best casino and sports betting on chain. Have a little flutter in private using the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's see what we've got in store for us today. So this article here by uh, CoinGeek saying a Coinbase profits plunge as retail traders lose their appetite for self-destruction. Good, good. Uh, 9.9 billion pound class action in UK to determine what is real Bitcoin. That uh, should be interesting. See what points they make on that one. You got Calvin here saying a few thoughts on last week's BTC shindig in Nas uh, Nashville. Then we got a Marathon Digital shares plunge 8% after Q2 revenue misestimates. And we got Kathy um, Kathy Wood not really knowing what she's doing, uh, buying uh, Ethereum, uh, staking ETFs, and dumping uh, Coinbase. You know, out the frying pan into the fire, if you ask me. Then we got Tether rakes in 5.2 billion in profits for uh, H1 2024. Uh, we'll just have a look at that. We've got a little bit of Bitcoin history, and that'll be the end of the show. Right, so let's get into it. So she, like a cowboy in the whips, riding on the blockchain that they call the very best. One million strong, the transactions flying free. Just wait for the tear, no, you'll surely see. Here we go. Right then, Coinbase profits plunge as retail traders lose their appetite for self-destruction. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this because uh, I've got to go through the entire show, uh, but we'll just get the gist of it. So uh, the Coinbase Digital Asset Exchange saw its transaction revenue and profit plunge in a record quarter as both retail and institutional traders appear to have found better ways to occupy their time. Figures released Thursday show Coinbase generated net revenue of $1.38 billion in a three... Good grief. In a three... That's $1.3 billion. Jeepers. Oh. In the three months ending June 30th, down 11% from 1.95 billion in the first quarter of 2024. I mean, can you imagine these exchanges made so much money? Like, what on earth? This is insane amounts of money. Insane. Uh, throw in nearly $70 million in uh, corporate interest and other income and total revenue was $1.45 billion down from $1.64 billion in quarter one. Net income was $33 million, uh, a fraction of the $1.18 billion Coinbase claimed in quarter one. The Q1 figure was artificially inflated by $337 million thanks to a new Financial Accounting Standards Board policy that allows companies to report changes in the fair value of their digital assets. But this, uh, but this, um, but this wind blows both ways. In quarter two, saw 319 million in pre-tax crypto assets losses on our crypto investment portfolio. Overall trading volume tumbled 28 percent to 226 billion dollars. 226 billion dollars of trade volume. Jeepers. While transaction revenue fell 27% to 781 million, retail transactions revenue fell by 29% to $665 million, while volume fell much harder, 34% than the overall figures. Institutional volume was off at 26% to $189 billion, while revenue slipped a similar percentage to $63.6 million. Uh, looks like the, Nas the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones are also taking a tumble. Could this be the recession that everybody's been predicting on the way? It's about time, I guess so. We've had COVID and, you know, they weren't able to install the totalitarian one, go one world government then. So now they're going to just try and absolutely destroy everybody and then bring it in with bird flu, uh, is what I suspect. The retail trading slide uh, is all the more noticeable given the Coinbase's number of monthly transactions users rose by around 200,000 to uh, 8.2 million. Uh, a caveat that Coinbase includes passive users in its um, MUT figures, including those who simply earn a staking reward and the definition of transactions includes people hammering the withdrawal button. <laughs> As for uh, what traders were trading, both BTC and ETH share of volume inched up two points to 35% and 15% respectively. Tether's controversial USDT stablecoin slipped another point to 10%, and other crypto assets, aka utility-free shitcoins, slipped their points to 
The other asset's share of the revenue fell harder, losing 13 points to 42%, but the still eclipsed the BTC 31 and Ethereum 17%. The shitcoin slide is in part due to the Solana Sol token making its first of a solo appearance on the revenue tally at 10%. Curiously, no trading volume figures were supplied for the Bahamas-based derivatives-focused Coinbase International Exchange, which launched in spring 2023. On Thursday's analyst call, CEO Brian Armstrong said only that volume has been really good today, actually, which suggests volume sucked on Wednesday, but whatever. The company did say its transaction expenses will continue to rise as it worked to create liquidity at its international site. Uh, to the moon base... Uh, other transactions revenue, which include a base, the Ethereum-based layer 2 a meme coin a Paradise, fell the modest 6.4% to $52.5 million. Coinbase serves as the uh, only sequencer transaction processor on base, and the company's bid to build a base following saw its significantly reduced basis transaction fees in quarter two. The result was a 300% of growth in base transaction volume. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, you know. Uh, interesting figures there, really interesting figures. I mean, blown away by actually how much is being traded and the, the profits that they make. Like, oh my God. Good to see Coinbase using the word and labeling them shit coins because that's exactly what they are. Got to start calling a spade a spade, as they say. You know, even though this is 2024 and, you know, men can get pregnant and all that kind of crap. Good grief. So, uh, based there. From, uh, from CoinGeek. Loving that. Uh, check out this one. So £9.9 .9 billion pound class action in the UK to determine what is real Bitcoin. The BSV Claims Limited collective proceedings uh, against four digital asset exchanges has delisted the BSV token in April 2019, has been certified and will proceed to trial in the United Kingdom. In June, a hearing was conducted at London's Competition Appeal Tribunal in the uh, collective proceedings, basically the UK equivalent of a class action lawsuit filed in August 2022 by BSV Claims Limited under the command of Lord Curry of Marleybone. Uh, a venture at consumer rights warrior and cat founding chair member or chairman. Uh, the suit accuses four digital exchanges, Binance, Bitalicious, Crack and Shape Shift for violating the Competition Act of 1998 uh, through their collective delisting of BSV token in 2019. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I think I probably read this one yesterday. Yeah, I did. That's the one. Yeah, loving, loving that. Loving that. All right. So let's go on to us. So this is Calvin Air when he said a few thoughts on last weekend's BTC shindig in Nashville, uh, an event at which Satoshi Nakamoto would have been um, on the outs with the attendees who appear to have rejected everything he, she, they stood for. Yeah. So this is a post of one of nine. So let's continue. Um, a Bitcoin was designed as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, yet BTC fans are cheering the US draft legislation that would define Bitcoin as a commodity that can't be used for the purchase or um, of a sale of a good. The national rally produced little evidence that anyone in the BTC camp cares about the network's ability to do anything beyond increasing value, which is why the event's uh, dominant theme was the US government should use taxpayer cash to buy BTC and dump our bags. Uh, nobody offered any real justification for why the US taxpayer should be asked to ante up uh, just so any tiny silver uh, sliver of society, including non-Americans, could financially benefit from all the ill-advised speculative wager. It's also unclear how a strategic BTC reserve would help America reduce its $35 trillion debt, even assuming BTC rose to $25 million a token. Uh, and pigs can fly, I think I read this before, and selling all the volume to pay the debt would uh, crash both the token and the dollar. Uh, then there's the strange sight of all those former anti-statistics cheering the idea of the federal government using um, other people's money to bail them out. Uh, no antithesis uh, in a foxhole and hypocrites in a crypto casino, apparently. No, Oh, no atheists in a foxhole. Uh, they wouldn't need this um, state subsidy if BTC was being embraced by new converts. Instead, ownership concentration at the top is accelerating, with Wells buying each dip to cover the fact that the general public now understands it's a rigged game. I got into Bitcoin for the technology, which is why I support the BSV blockchain, the only protocol that Satoshi would recognize as their own. BSV is the only protocol focused on expanding enterprise blockchain use cases for benefit of the many, not the few. 
unbounded scalability, a fee structure that enables micropayments, data storage capabilities, a greener energy footprint and backbone of Metanet, the internet of the future. BSV is the world's only true enterprise blockchain, the one platform that can do it all. Well said. Well said, Calvin. Yeah. Great stuff. Loving that. Uh, Marathon Digital shares plunge 8% after a quarter two revenue misestimates. Marathon Digital has missed consensus estimates for the second quarter in a row through its year-on-year uh, -year performance, although its year-on-year -year performance has risen by 78%. Oh. United States listed Bitcoin miner Marathon Digital shares fell 8% after failing its second quarter earnings, which fell short of Wall Street expectations. Marathon reported revenue of $145.1 million, $145 million in the second quarter, roughly 9% lower than the $157.9 million that analysts had anticipated, according to Yahoo Finance data. The shortfall occurred despite a year-on-year -year revenue increase of 78% from $81.7 million in quarter two 2023, according to its earnings report published on August 1st. Following the report's release, uh, Mars stock price fell 7.78%, ending the trading day at $18.14, according to Google Finance data. Uh, the Greg Coin miners uh, struggled through the quarter due to uh, raising operational costs after the uh, Greg Coin halving in April. Marathon Digital revealed it sold 51% of its Greg Coin to cover operational expenses. The report highlighted that uh, Marathon's average price of Greg coin mined in the second quarter of 2024 was 136% higher than in the prior year period. On average, Marathon mined 22.9 Greg coin per day, which is 9.3 less Greg coin daily compared to the previous period. Uh, it is the second quarter in a row that Marathon has missed consensus estimates, uh, having also missed quarter one estimates. At the time, Marathon's quarter one revenues increased to 223% year-on-year to $165.2 million in results shared on May 9th, but it still missed the $193.9 million estimates for um, investment analyst firm Zacks by 14.8%. Uh, Riot Platform's caught too close to uh, estimates. It follows the news on July 23rd that Marathon has been a has been fined $138 million after being found guilty of breaching a non-disclosure or non-circumvention agreement. Meanwhile, rival crypto miner Riot Platforms posted $70 million in revenue for quarter two 2024, a year-on-year -year decline of 8.8% as per its earnings report published on July 31st. Riot's report's revenues were a lot closer to consensus estimates, which was only 0.63% lower than Zach's prediction. Riot's stock ended the uh, trading day down 8.54%, closing at 9.32. Oh, yeah. um, ARK buys $21 million of 3IQ Ether staking ETF, dumps 14.6 million of Coinbase stock. Kathy Wood's ARK has resumed active, uh, active trading of crypto-related stocks like Coinbase, 3IQ Ether staking ETF, Robinhood and its own spot Bitcoin ETF. Cryptocurrency related trades are again gathering steam at Cathy Wood's investment firm, ARK Investment, as a return to trading tens of millions of dollars in crypto related stocks and exchange traded funds in one day. After resuming significant sales of the Coinbase stock in July, ARK increased its sales selling in August, dumping 69,069 ,069, um, Coinbase shares on August 1st, according to trade data seen by Cointelegraph. Based on the stock's closing price, the amount is worth $14.7 million, according to data from TradingView. Uh, I can't be, I honestly, I cannot be bothered to read the rest of that. Anybody who follows my show know that she has, she literally hasn't got a clue what she's doing. Literally just plucking things out of the air. Literally has no clue, no clue what's going on. You know, and I mean, the market is just out there. They're just absolutely staggeringly huge. But again, biggest bubble in financial history. Again, manufactured by the cabal who are in control of it all. Good grief. Uh, Tether uh, rakes in $5.2 billion in profit for H1 uh, 2024. The company's $5.2 billion profit for the first half of 2024. Its best result since its inception. They can just print this stuff from nothing and use it to buy shit coins. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Uh, the world's largest stablecoin issuer, Tether, has released its uh, attestation report for the first half of the year, revealing a record $5.2 billion in profit. Can you imagine? It hasn't even got any shareholders. 
Like literally, they're just printing this stuff from nothing. According to an official release from the firm, Tether Records uh, recorded a net operating profit of $1.3 billion. Yeah, if you can just magic that from nothing. In the second quarter of 2024, and its ownership of United States Treasury bills hit a new all-time high of $97.6 billion. <sighs> Tether releases at a station report. Tether revealed that the review was conducted by BDO. Oh, as if that isn't a slap in the face to Craig. That's hilarious. They're using BDO, the uh, the auditing firm that Craig used to work for. Uh, and that Stephen Matthews, I think, might still have ties to. A global independent accounting firm and confirms the accuracy of its consolidated financial figures and reserves report. The um, review broke down its assets and token reserves held as of June 30th. The company's $5.2 billion profit from the first half of 2024 is its best result since inception. So they boast a strong revenue base from traditional asset classes, investment, preliminary US treasuries. The firm is currently more exposed to treasuries than Germany's Australia and the United Arab Emirates. Tether ranks 18 on the list of countries. Uh, oh yeah, on the list of countries and entities owning US debt and third in purchases of three months US treasuries following the United Kingdom and the Cayman Islands. The company sees itself ranking first next year based on growth trajectory of its largest product and stablecoin USDT. So they're just going to print more of it. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, good grief. Oh, let's just oh, let's see what they say for the rest of it. Um, Paolo Ardonino, was that? Ardonio, CEO of Tether said, with the uh, second quarter attestation of 2024, Tether has once again demonstrated its unwavering commitment to transparency, <laughs> even though they've never been audited, uh, stability, liquidity, and responsible risk management. What a joke. As shown in this latest report, Tether continues to shatter records with a new profit benchmark of $5.2 billion for the first half of 2024. This is like the central bank. Uh, the central bank makes makes profits when, it's, when it prints currency. And then the retail banks, who are the shareholders of the central bank, also profit when the central bank makes profits, which it prints for itself. It's hilarious. Good grief. Tether's equity jumps to $520 million. Furthermore, Tether issued more than $8.3 billion of USDT in the second quarter of the year. The stablecoin circulating supply is roughly $117 billion. But Tether claims it has over $118.4 billion in reserves for the token, whatever, with consolidated assets exceeding consolidated liabilities. What a joke. The stablecoin issuer clarified uh, that it does not consider investments it made into other sectors, including sustainable energy. Oh, no surprise there. Bitcoin mining, data, artificial intelligence, infrastructure, and peer-to-peer -peer telecommunications technology as part of its USDT reserves. As of June 30th, Tether Group's consolidation net equity was $11.9 billion. The group's equity increased by $520 million in the second quarter, partially offset by the drop in Bitcoin and gold prices. Oh my god, is all I can say to that one. Jeepers. All right, we've got a little bit of Bitcoin history. So on the 2nd of August 2016, Bitfinex was hacked. Bitfinex, the large, what well, was the largest Bitcoin exchange by volume, uh, this is in 2016, announced that 119,756 Bitcoin of customer funds had been stolen via a security breach. And again, this is what led on to the creation of Tether a value roughly equivalent to $72 million USD. Bitfinex was holding the customer funds in multi-signature addresses in conjunction with its security partner, BitGo. It is presumed that the uh, attacker obtained access to the private keys for nearly all of Bitfinex's customer accounts, as well as access to uh, BitGo API for the Bitfinex account. It remains unclear if the customer funds were insured by BitGo and if customers will be uh, fully reimbursed. Again, this was back in 2016 when it happened. The price of Bitcoin plunged nearly 20% to $480 USD that day before beginning a gradual recovery. Others in the Bitcoin community suggested that prior knowledge of the upcoming hack was used by unknown entities for insider trading as the price had begun to drop significantly before Bitfinex's announcement. Again, where have we seen this before? We saw this before 9-11. We saw this before the, uh, you know, the, the attempted assassination on Donald Trump yeah, with um, his um, uh, TDJ shares going down. I mean, this has this literally got cabal written all over it. You know, this is... Shocked, but not shocked, should I say? Well, there we go. That's a 19-minute show coming up to 20 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll leave it there. 
So uh, if you enjoy these updates, please ding your donations for your appreciation to Satoshi at the assembly.com, handcash.io, simply.cash, relasia.com, rockwallet.me, or senti.ch. We'll leave you there. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there. We'll see you in the next one with a chart show.